came out to Princeton University to explain reciprocity failure and how it works. Basically, what that means is when there's not enough available light, your film loses contrast because the silver inside of your film takes longer to saturate. In order to fix that, each black and white film has its own reciprocity correction factor that you can use to compensate for. The image on the left is Knox's shot before applying the correction factor, 10 seconds at f8. The image on the right was shot at 18 seconds f8. The main differences lie in the shadows such as the bricks here. The bricks on the right have way more texture and overall separation, while the bricks on the left are smooth and flat. We see the same results on the ground as well in this image. More contrast, more overall texture more separation between the leaves and the ground underneath of it. So Knox's meter gave him an exposure time of 30 seconds. Here's what his image looks like before applying the correction factor. Now we'll take the original exposure time and raise it by 1.26 delta 100's correction factor, giving him a new time of 1 minute 12 seconds. Here's the new exposure. <laughs> 